Manchester was full of surprises, as seen in part two. I'll put a link to it at the end of this uh, video. As we move along to part three of the Georgia Rail Adventure. Fort Valley was a southern town, as you can see on this uh, southern map, showing the many lines of this major junction, including the line from Athens to Albany after the acquisition of the Central of Georgia in 1963. These three slides were shot in 1986 in Fort Valley. Next, it's nearby Macon in 1981. Note the gentleman hanging on for dear life from the wires between the poles. Actually, it's an optical illusion caused by the heat of the exhaust from the engine. Just a few miles north of Macon is Gray, where these two photos were taken in 1981, just a year before the merger with the Norfolk and Western. Just west of Atlanta is Villa Rica. We catch this one from 1981. In Waycross, most of our photography was done from the Haynes Avenue Bridge. At this point, we are looking south toward Folkestone and Florida. Looking north, to the left is Rice Yard and the Fitzgerald subdivision. To the right, the Jessup sub, the line to Brunswick, and the old Waycross passenger station. I have seen so many really good Waycross videos on YouTube that well, I'll keep this one kind of short. And I have provided a link at the end of this video to one of the best.
This used to be known as Progress Rail, as seen from the Haynes Avenue Bridge. Now, according to a map, it's locomotive specialists. I know we've got some die-hard rail fans out there. Well, how many of these locomotives can you identify? Look what I just bought. I think it would look really great in the living room. So, how did you do? Uh, a couple of you identified all of these locomotives. There's somebody who could identify one, and uh, unfortunately he's one ahead of me. Well, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. I can identify this one with one word. Hot. 